One of the things that scared me, and scared me a lot when I practiced dentistry for over 30 years, was the idea that I was gonna get sued by some patient for malpractice. And it scared me so much that you and me, we would design our entire life around asset protection. I don't really wanna talk about asset protection because I don't really think it's necessary provided we protect ourselves from a liability exposure. And the simplest way for us to do that is proper documentation of our dental charts. Now, with software, you have the auto notes that you can add to whatever you do for the patient and you can modify it a little bit. But for those of you that are still write, handwriting your charts, and hopefully you're not doing that anymore, you're doing all auto, auto notes, you have to be incredibly precise and specific in your notes. Because I've been an expert witness in many, many malpractice cases, and I've been both on the plaintiff side and on the defense side. And when you're on the defense side, the easiest way to avoid the malpractice lawsuit, or certainly to lower the settlement or to expedite the process, is to have proper documentation. And when a patient sues a doctor, it's usually because there's a miscommunication. Rarely is it malpractice in the pure sense. It's because a patient doesn't understand what the expectations of the procedure were, and they're disappointed, and they feel like the office has disrespected them. So your only defense in that particular case is to make sure that your dental charts are properly documented. Take the time, spend a couple of extra minutes. If you're handwriting your notes, take an extra couple extra minutes, document the chart, and augmenting the electronic chart. Just do the right thing. Because at the end of the day, the only way that you can truly, truly avoid some lengthy malpractice litigation aggravation is to have well-documented charts. Because when you do get sued, it disrupts your entire life. It disrupts your dental practice. It disrupts your personal life because as dentists, we take this so personally that we don't understand that in the eyes of the patient and in the eyes of the lawyer suing us, that to them it's just strictly business. We take it personally because we care so passionately about our patients and the way that we the way that we perform dentistry. So please take the time, take an extra minute or two, write your charts out properly, and also follow what we learned a long, long time ago, which is using the acronym of SOAP, Subjective, Objective, Assessment, and Plan. Add that to your treatment notes and you'll avoid all kinds of litigation problems.